And we think that a particularly good way to measure how a fund tackles market cycles is to categorize the performance into both up markets and down markets, and the capture ratio is a really good way to do that. Up capture ratios evaluate the fund's performance versus the benchmark at times when the benchmark return is positive, while downside capture ratios look at the performance of the fund versus the benchmark during periods when the benchmark is negative. One of the great things about looking at up capture and down capture ratios is when you combine them, you can calculate the capture ratio. That's up capture divided by down capture. This shows the net overall relative performance of the fund versus the benchmark. We think the most effective way to use capture ratios is to evaluate them over longer time periods. We choose to do this because it encompasses multiple market cycles in your analysis. So when we evaluated our funds, we calculated capture ratios over three, five, and 10 year rolling periods over the last 15 years. We are often asked by advisors, how do you use capture ratios? What's the most effective way to, to analyze this, these results? And capture ratios are a great tool to evaluate whether a fund is more aggressive or more defensive in nature. They can also help you in making, in building portfolios. It helps you more effectively pair funds together. In addition, if you use capture ratios, you can make tactical allocations based on your outlook for future market conditions. So capture ratio is calculated by taking your upside capture and dividing it by downside capture. This gives you the fund's net overall relative performance for the period. Capture ratios may seem complex at first glance, but actually they're a really effective tool for you to evaluate your historical investment experience, dividing it into up markets and down markets.